All right, everybody, welcome back to my Crusader Kings 2 uh, weekly playthrough. This is the last episode, because uh, the finale for Game of Thrones is tonight, uh, the Season 6 finale. So for the finale, I thought I would go all out, and I'm going to play as Daenerys Stormborn herself, the Khaleesi. Uh, so I'm going to take my three dragons, and I'm going to do my best to conquer as much of the known world as I can, because taking big chunks of land with the dragons is very doable, as long as something doesn't go catastrophically wrong. So we're going to be starting in Marine. Uh, with Daenerys right here. I'm gonna get rid of all these useless ass tips And uh, this is basically just telling me I have a claim on the seven kingdoms and I can go try to take it when I'd like um, But I'm going to try to take some other land first because then it's gonna make it a lot easier All right So the first thing I usually like to do when I play as Daenerys is I set my ambition to tame a dragon Because she actually doesn't start out as a dragon rider to Drogon because my th three dragons are listed here under my children uh, So I have Drogon, Rhaegal, and Viserion. Drogon is always the one you tame when you when you play as Daenerys uh, when you get married, you have the option to give your uh, spouse one of your dragons, and then I think other members of your family can eventually try to tame them. Um, so if I, if I, there's a way I can get three dragon riders, that's ideal. Um, so I'm gonna first thing I'm gonna do actually is send for a maester because those only help you. And I'm going to eh, there's not a lot I can do with my master uh, or with my council right now. I have uh, Sir Barristan as my master at arms, so hopefully he stays alive and. Uh, doesn't get owned by some random ass uh, lowborn bitches. I'm gonna name him as my bodyguard, obviously. I'm gonna save those other honorary titles, and I'm gonna let him get married. Why not? Just in case there's a chance I get some little Barristans. Um, so let's see if there's anyone with good traits I can marry him to, just to increase the chances. Uh, how about this, uh, Alisane Bracken, 20 years old? Sure. Uh, that's good enough, because that doesn't really do me any good. It just gives the chance uh, for Barristan to get his dick wet while he's still while he's still on this earth. God, that's all we can ever ask for. Um, so I can't marry myself to anyone yet, but I don't really want to because I'm sure I'll get some good opportunities uh, later on. So we're going to see what goes on. Mo a lot of how Daenerys' playthrough starts in this mode is uh, through events, at least right away. See, here's one already. Uh, basically, this just means that uh, Marine is going to be intact. Uh, the slavers are trying to take it back. They're not going <laughs> to... Usually, you don't lose this war just because you have dragons. I'm going to name a, a temporary council right now just so that way my troops are a little, a little more loyal here. I don't really care who I name. All right, so I've got 18,000 troops here. That's quite a lot, especially considering that I also have a dragon. Granted, I can't use him in combat yet. I have Grey Worm set as my best commander because he's got 19 martial. Uh, Grolio here is pretty good. I'm going to put Barristan in, in this army as well. I'm actually going to have Barristan lead the army. And I'm going to have Grey Worm on the flank just because Barristan's the best I got. Um, and then I have Grey Worm. And I have Hero here who's a pit fighter. Uh, he's also very good. Um, and then I'm gonna also take a look at my court here and uh, name some extra bodyguards I should have strong Belwas in here if you only watch the show uh, It's a shame they cut this guy out because he's such a <laughs> such a G uh, He's a, a eunuch a former pit fighter uh, And he's just a big hulk of a dude and he is hilarious uh, And he's awesome and he's a fucking badass So I'm gonna name him as my bodyguard and wait I can visit strong Belwas's chambers even though he's a eunuch <laughs> Let's see what happens here Oh, okay, so Belwas apparently somehow <laughs> had sex with Daenerys without a dick. <laughs> well, this playthrough is already starting out in... Wait, let's see who else I can do that with. Oh, God, this is already playing out like bad fanfiction. Barristan? Nope, not Barristan. Okay. Uh, Grey Worm? Let's check out Grey Worm. Okay, I'm getting seriously sidetracked right now, but I think this is hilarious. Uh, okay, not Grey Worm. Just, apparently, she's just got the hots for strong Belwas. So, that happened. If he gets me pregnant, that would be even more... That's a sentence I never thought I'd say. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that would be very strange. Um, so, my maester from the Citadel got here, so that's good. Um, so, basically, I'm just going to keep my troops here and wait for events to pop up, because that's really how this playthrough starts. Uh, I'm going to be starting out taking the free cities and abolishing slavery. And uh, so, I'll come back to you when the first one pops up. Alright, so we're here in our first war. Uh, the Yunkai are trying to take back their land, um, and they don't really don't have the troops. Uh, yes, sorry, my cat's going ape shit. It's pissing me off. <laughs> Anytime I, I try to record one of these episodes is when my cat decides to go fucking nuclear on me. Hey, dude, chill your tits. Recording a fucking episode. Chill the hell out. Anyway, so as I was saying, there's a slave war. Um, so I'm going to wait for them to attack me because there's no way in fucking hell they can defeat my 18,000. Um, and also I am uh, tutoring this chick, I guess. I don't care. I don't even know who you are <laughs> uh, So let's see where these young Kai are well, Let's see who else fighting me uh, first because it looks like there's a few free cities here uh, Nugis, Volantis, 
Um, all these random free cities and then Yunkai are all attacking me at once. Uh, so they're trying to, uh, the war is officially called, uh, <laughs> the war to enslave Marine. Uh, so that's quite the, the objective. Um, so I have, uh, there's 5,000 here who are marching closer and closer to me. As soon as they get to the demon road, I'm probably just going to move on them. I could probably even split my troops in half and do that, which is probably what I'm going to do. Uh, the demon road is, uh, just terrain Valyrian road, so no kind of terrain bo bonus uh, to worry about. Um, so let's see what happens there. Uh, so that's what, exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to split these troops here. Uh, I'm going to send an uh, army of Barristan with 8,000 to take these guys out because they're Barristan and Grey Worm. They'll make quick work of these scrubs as long as they don't run away from me, which is what they're trying to do. Let's see if they can get away. Um, okay, so I can equally declare war on Yunkai uh, while they're declaring war on me, I guess. So let's do that. Okay, so I'm going to be at war with Yunkai trying to liberate slavery at the same time that they are at war with me trying to enslave me. And it looks like I have allies too, of these uh, random Dothraki, and okay. So this is the first event that came up. This is something that happens in the book, did not happen in the show, likely won't happen at this point. Um, the Martells have sent a uh, person to try to marry me and send me to Westeros. That person being Quentin Martell, which is actually a pretty good alliance for me. I'm wondering if I should take this, because I'm not sure if I'm going to get better. Uh... You know, I can always do this later, um, so I'm going to continue my wars for slavery, or against slavery, I guess I should say. Um, so I'm going to say no, so sorry, Quentin Martel, uh, but that's not that's not good enough for me. So, and I can always try to marry him later if it, if it comes to that, too. So uh, Daenerys has married his Dar Zolorak, but I'm pretty sure I can uh, get rid of that later with doing an event. Um, so that's, I just went ahead and did that. Hopefully uh, he doesn't get me pregnant, which is another weird thing to say. <laughs> I'm not going to get used to that. Um, I can choose to give his Dar a dragon, but obviously I'm not going to do that, because that would be really dumb. Uh, so I'm just going to continue with my war at this point against Young Kai until something else happens. Alright, so the event happened in the uh, in the pit where Daenerys uh, has that you know issue where the, the fights go wrong and she escapes on the dragon. So that happened, and uh, I tamed the dragon, but I'm gone. Uh, so now Barristan is my regent trying to win these wars for me, uh, which shouldn't be a problem. I just have to wait for the event where Daenerys actually comes back and with the Dothraki. Uh, so that will help me a lot. So we'll get to that point, uh, which is basically where we are uh, right here. Uh, so my fertility is back. Uh, White Walkers have been seen in the Grey Way, so that's big news for me because I'm basically the only thing that can stop them. Uh, so I'm going to try to get to Westeros the next chance I get. The Martell's offer wasn't quite good enough, uh, but the next one I get, I'm going to take probably. Um, so I just got to make sure that I survive long enough to do that. So now that I'm a Dragon Rider, though, this should be quick work. I'm going to make my next ambition to win the war. Because uh, that'll get my marshal up to 21, which is huge. Um, and then I'm going to take these troops, uh, join forces at Marine, and then put Daenerys in charge of the main army, since she's now my best general, because now she's a dragon rider. So I can just start burning motherfuckers. Uh, so I'm going to, now that they are joined, uh, join these armies. And now I have three badass commanders, because I can put Daenerys... Uh, actually, I can't put Daenerys at the head of the army yet, because she's still off at the Dothraki. So it'll just be a little bit before I can do that, so I'll cut back. Alright, so I got these, uh, this event here with the, uh, with the Dothraki, and so now I get these 8,000 Dothraki who are joining me, and uh, I have returned from being a Dragon Rider. Uh, so, Barristan, you have been relieved of your command, and I now have even more troops. Um, so I'm going to have Daenerys lead the 12,000 here uh, with her dragon, and then I have my Blood Rider, Jogo, and my uh, other Blood Rider, oh, I guess he's the only one with me. And then I will have uh, Hero here, because uh, I still have Barristan and Grey Worm over in this army. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to converge both of my troops here on the 16,000, because they need to be dealt with swiftly. And they will be swiftly <laughs> destroyed. And then I'll come back for the other part of it. Alright, so uh, Quentin has died trying to take my dragons. <laughs> Apparently he thought that would be a good idea. Um, so Quentin Martell is dead, so I <laughs> guess that that marriage is out the window. And uh, his dar was responsible for being a harpy, so I divorced his ass. And uh, so now I am a bachelorette once again. Uh, so whoever wants to try to woo the Dragon Queen can try to do that next. Um, but I am going to uh, attack this group here still. I'm going up against a lot of troops, but now that I have my dragon, I have a very clear advantage. Um, so I, this should, should be fine still. So we'll see what happens here. Alright, so when you fight with a dragon, I didn't really get a chance to do this the last time I played with dragons on this channel. Uh, you have this option to deploy them in battle, and this is risky, so you don't want to do it if you're going to win the battle anyway. Uh, but this battle, I'm going to need a, li a little bit of help, probably. Um, 
Actually, I don't think I will. So I'm like, I'm gonna save my dragon this time, only because I know I have Barristan in, his, in these 18,000 coming for me, uh, and I've got really good generals. So I think I'm gonna win this battle anyway. So I'm just gonna let it ride. And then it ended up being a smart decision. I won that battle handedly without many losses at all. Got some prisoners in the. Uh, ooh, I captured Makoro. Is that what that said? Is that the Makoro from the books? Uh, it is not. Oh, that's a shame. It is a Makoro, though. No, no one can say that it is not. Uh, so I'm going to now attack these 21,000 here in No Man's Land. Uh, and that's going to be the big battle. That one ought to win the war for me. Alright, so uh, <clears throat> a lot of these troops retreated actually to Yunkai before I got there. Um, so I'm just going to go to Yunkai and burn the fuck out of it, considering they're the ones leading this war. Uh, burning the fuck out of Yunkai should basically end it for me, because um, that's the capital of people attacking me. Um, so I'm going to siege this place, and even when you siege places, you have an option to deploy them in the siege. This is less risky, I believe, um, and I do it almost any time. And, oh, come on, are you fucking kidding me? A uh, Drogon is wounded, which is fine, because a wound heals on, like, a maiming. Uh, so that's fine, but it does mean that I'm a little bit vulnerable because I can't use my dragon attacks for a while. Uh, but I should be able to take this fort the old-fashioned way because I still got close to 30,000 troops here. So I'm going to cut back since this is probably going to take a while at this point now. Uh, one thing I'm going to do here while my siege is going on is I still have his daughter Zolarak in my prison, the one who was leading the harpies uh, even while I was married to him. So I'm just going to go ahead and execute him right away and get that uh, all cleared up, that marriage right there. So I'm going to let my dragon devour him as well. <laughs> because, you know what, if anyone deserves it, it's that douche. Uh, so my dragon has eaten my ex-husband. <laughs> Alright, Drogon is all healed up, so we're going to use him in the siege again, see if we can speed this along, and see how it goes this time. It went worse! God damn it. So maimings actually do heal for a dragon, I found out. Uh, it takes a lot longer, though, because it's like, basically like a clipped wing. Um, but I took the castle anyway. Uh, he wasn't there, the leader wasn't, but I imprisoned all of his family, so that still helps your war score. Uh, by the time I get to my next war, I think uh, Drogon should be okay. It just I've had shitty luck with him. He's not. He's, he's a rook. He's a young rook. He's got a lot to prove. He tried a little bit too hard, and he clipped a wing. So no biggie. I've still got 30,000 troops is really the important part. And uh, so we'll cut back once this war is uh, further along, because we've got plenty of wars to fight before this playthrough's done. And I thought I would cut back here real quick. Um, <clears throat> uh, marrying Barristan paid off, because now there's a little sell me on the way. Little Bara Selmy. What a cute name. Uh, so I'm going to favorite her and raise her as part of my court, just because Barristan probably, let's be fair, doesn't probably have that much longer left. Uh, so I'm just glad he got a little bit of offspring there, got his dick wet. <laughs> and uh, he's still serving me, though. He's still in command of my army. It's been a while since I've cut, um, just because th these been some uh, pretty boring battles going on. I've just been sieging Young Kai, which took forever, uh, and bouncing back and forth between Marine and these places, just taking out these troops as they come here. No battles lost yet. Um, so I'll cut back again. I just thought I'd share that with you. Oh, hey, and look at this. Now, uh, the war's over because I just captured the Wise Master, uh, Yurkaz, in combat. Uh, so that's one way to do it. So that war is over. Uh, might as well just end this one right here. Uh, and then I'm about ready to go to Westeros as far as I'm concerned. All right, so now that I've conquered Yunkai, it's time to uh, find out which of the free cities is next. Once I conquer all these free cities, I can take my, uh, my talents to, to Westeros, to West Westeros. Uh, so I'm going to conquer all these cities because it won't take too long. I'm probably not going to show you most of it. Uh, I'm just going to show you the cliff notes because it's going to take a little bit. Because um, I should stomp over all these free cities no problem with my dragon and my 30,000 troops. Uh, but I'll uh, just briefly cut through this and uh, show you how it goes. Oh, and a little event came up while I was doing this. It looks like uh, Jorah and Tyrion have arrived. So I can uh, add them to my court now. Uh, so then, uh, so yep, they both joined my court, so now I, I have Tyrion and Jorah, so I can do with, with them what they will. Uh, what should I do with Jorah here? He doesn't have grayscale like in the show, because that's something they just did for the show. They kind of had him replace a different character. Uh, so I can name his, him as a bodyguard, possibly. Yep, I can, so perfect. So Jorah is now once again part of my Queen's Guard, and he got married, it looks like. Good for him. And then I can see what to do with Tyrion. I'll probably just make him my Hand of the King. Uh, he got married as well. Look at that. They found love on the way. That's always good to see. He married, uh, no way. He married Taisha. He found Taisha. I don't think that's the Taisha, because it's spelled differently, but let's, <laughs> in my head canon it is, damn it. He found Taisha, he had a child, he's living, he's living so well. <laughs> I'm so proud. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, so I now have them in my court, but I still got wars to fight. It ain't over yet, so I'll cut back. Alright, so I have finally cut back here. It took me a while to, to deal with all those wars, and they weren't very eventful, so I just cut them out. Um... 
the only thing that happened was I just went from place to place. Uh, a couple of them just surrendered to me. Um, but here we are. Uh, we, <laughs> I know I said I was ready to move on Westeros a while ago. Uh, we're now in the year uh, 305. And uh, just like Daenerys, I've been stalling. So it's finally time to take Westeros. So now that I've uh, abolished slavery in Slaver's Bay uh, from all of the slaving cities, uh, by right of birth, I will sit upon the Iron Throne. So I've just declared war on the Iron Throne, and I am ready to go. Um, all these 19,000 I've gathered back here in Marine, because these are just my special event troops. Uh, so those don't count as my vassals. So I can still raise these 10,000 here. So I've got a lot of troops here, and not as many ships. I've raised up a lot of gold in, in my years, um, just by having a lot of really rich cities under my control now. Um, so I can hire ships to get me over there, and I can just kind of ferry troops to and fro. I've got 70 uh, ships just here from my vassals, um, so I'm going to make sure that I raise them. Uh, I've got armies all over here, really, so I'm going to make sure that I highlight this whole area, which is my domain and uh, send them over here to Marine to get ready to start sending troops over to Westeros. All right, and I've already got a lot of, of people standing by me. Peter Baelish has just declared for me. Roos Bolton has declared for me, strangely enough. Uh, let's see who else. Uh, whoever this guy is, uh, Bar Brun. Uh, Prince Trevor Jordan apparently took over the uh, the Dornish, and he has declared for me. So I've already got quite a few allies just by declaring my claim. Uh, I mean, who wouldn't support the Dragon Queen, right? Uh, so I'm going to cut back once my troops have uh, ferried their way over. All right, so Daenerys is about to land in Westeros. Holy shit, here we go. This is it. Um, I'm landing at Driftmark here on this island just because it's probably the safest place for me to just start ferrying troops in because I can't really be attacked without them having a huge disadvantage. And plus I have a dragon, so they really have no chance of taking me by storm here. Um, also, my allies who declared for me are still kind of gathering their troops. Um, the uh, Littlefinger and his Riverland troops are over here. The Westerlands uh, declared, obviously, for the Lannisters. Um, so it's going to be Littlefinger versus the Lannisters over there for now. Uh, the Dornish have mostly amassed safely down here, and they're going to be marching north into the Stormlands, most likely. Um, let's just see how the, how the war stacks up at this moment. Um, so fighting for him is the Westerlands and the Vale, pretty much, and that's it. And fighting for me is the Riverlands and the North and Dorne. Uh, let's see how, yeah, I forgot about the North. I noticed they joined me as well. So, Roose Bolton, <laughs> I hate to say it, folks, I'm going to have to ally with him. He declared for me without me even having to ask. So, Roose Bolton is a loyal Targaryen supporter, so I, got, I, I can get behind that. Um, so, now that Daenerys has landed with those troops, I still have a lot more to go. Uh, I still have these 18,000 over here, and i got to just basically slowly ferry them over in groups of 8,000. So, it'll take me three trips. Um, but then uh, I'll have a good amount of troops over here, and then the Lannisters are ready for a good fucking. And I'm ready for a good fuck. All right, and uh, while I'm ferrying troops over, A, if you look in the corner, poor Missande contracted the bloody fuck, so hopefully she lives. Uh, but Barristan had a son, which is what I was hoping for, just so I had a successor, a new badass to take over in my Kingsguard, hopefully. Uh, so I'm glad, that, I'm glad that that happened. Barristan is still kicking at 68, still a huge part of my army. So that is awesome. So he's, he's here fighting the war for me. I didn't know if he'd make it or not, but I'm really glad he did. Because we're about to win our first battle here. Uh, even while I'm still ferrying troops across. Uh, oh, I forgot to play it. And uh, let's take a look here. It should happen any second. There it is. The Siege of High Tide, which is in Driftmark. Uh, I'm just I'm not really in super dedicated to taking that castle. It's just an easy one to do while my troops get over here. Once I get a good 10,000, I'm just going to go straight for King's Landing. Because there's no reason to... Uh, to dilly daddle. Might as well just go right forward if I can burn it to the ground. Alright, I'm gonna cut back here. I'm still ferrying troops over. It looks like Tommen tried to attack me at Driftmark, which wasn't smart. I didn't even need to deploy my dragon. Uh, he just got right off the boats and got fucked by Sir Barristan and Jora with their army. Um, and then I also clicked on uh, Dragonstone out of curiosity and noticed uh, what happened to Stannis. He went to war with Tommen, and guess who he got killed by in single combat? Robert Strong. Frankengregor, who apparently died a natural death, as natural as that can get, uh, but not be not before uh, not before killing Stannis in single combat, which must have been awesome. That's one of the cooler things I've noticed happening in this playthrough so far, aside from Daenerys fucking strong Bellwas. It's one of the, out of those two. It's hard to say which one is the more impressive. <laughs> All right, so minor uh, bad development here. I mean, it's not a disaster. I have a good. I'm still very confident I'm going to win this war, but I left the army of the Unsullied for the most part is down here. Uh, they had about 10,000, and they have the advantage of the mountains, but 
I didn't see these troops sneaking up from the south. I should have posted scouts down there. Uh, and the High Septon, uh, <laughs> the High Sparrow is uh, fighting against me as well for some reason. And uh, so hopefully Grey Worm can bleed him a little bit. Uh, I'm not super concerned about those troops because I still got my dragon. I, you know, Daenerys isn't there or anything. Uh, she's safe up here still. And I still got 10,000 troops on their way. Um, so I'm probably going to lose this battle, but let's take a look here. Uh, actually, no, I won it so far, but there's still more troops coming. Uh, so if I can get them farther back, uh, I might as well leave them there for now. Because if they can hold off uh, that 13,000, they can do it again. Uh, meanwhile, I've got troops over here. Uh, way over here in Slaver's Bay. Oh, that's Valyria. And I'm ready to ferry the rest of my troops over, I believe. Alright, so uh, Grey Worm's army lost. Uh, I mean, they were going up against insurmountable odds, so whatever. Um, I don't care about these two random people getting married, that's fine. Um, so I got troops on their way to meet Daenerys here at Driftmark. And uh, if my ships can get there, hopefully I can save Grey Worm's troops in time. But it's not looking the greatest. Uh, they're kind of stranded at the moment without any ships to help me. Uh, but that's just the way she goes sometimes. And uh, Grey Worm is actually, they're performing like Unsullied. There's only 3,400 here, but they're giving it in this battle here that they had every right to lose. Uh, Grey Worm is still kicking. He's got uh, his buddy Hero here, another pit fighter, uh, leading up another part of his army. And they're winning this battle here right now. Uh, not sure how long they can hold on. And sure as shit, they won. Holy crap, that is a badass army right there. Against all odds. So they lost again, and they still have less troops than them. But hopefully my ships can get here in time to back them up. And if so, that's going to be a legendary stand right there by the Unsullied. That is well played. All right, so um, the Unsullied held on, held on long enough. And now these troops are here to back them up in this battle. So the 8,000 are coming back. Lord Jonas Bracken, I believe. Uh, let's just make sure that's him so I don't sully his bad name for no reason. Uh, fuck it. It's probably him. Jonas Bracken's a douchebag. Uh, so he's coming back to uh, to attack him again. Attack Grey Worm here at the uh, Stone Dance. Uh, but these troops, there's 6,000 troops on these ships. And they're ready right here to back them up. I'm going to let the battle start because I don't want to tip off that these uh, reinforcements are ready to go. I'm going to make sure they have a good commander here, or as good as I can give them. Uh, let's go with... Uh, uh, yeah, he's good enough, uh, McLaz. Uh, so then I will uh, wait till the battle starts and then get ready for Pound Town. Alright, so the battle has started. These troops are ready to offload off their ships. And this should be a swift ass-kicking, because I don't even think... Yep, Grey Worm's not even going to need me. He would have won this battle without it, but now it's over. Uh, so they just got a quick... Oh, and I captured Loras Tyrell. That's even better. I didn't even know he was there. Uh, so that is a very good victory right there. Captured uh, an esteemed Knight of the Kingsguard. That's very cool. All right, so Daenerys is just about done here on Driftmark. I only had her there to try to uh, to try to you know get an easy castle while I waited. Um, but I've got my troops ready to go now. Uh, now, so I'm going to move Daenerys over to King's Landing and slowly ferry everybody over to the capital to get ready for the fucking. Uh, first, I'm going to make sure I don't. Do the same mistake I've been making in these playthroughs a lot, and I'm going to send scouts to King's Landing and around King's Landing. I'm going to name a new master Whispers just so I can place him over here. Uh, all right, so King's Landing looks clear for the most part. Uh, so I'm going to uh, ferry Daenerys over there first, and then have uh, I'm going to have Grey Worm just march there because that's a lot easier. All right, I will cut back to uh, when King's Landing is ready to go. All right, so there's I noticed these 20,000 troops, which is probably the bulk of what the Lannisters have um, and uh, they think that's enough but then I had uh, Daenerys get off her boat early to back up Grey Worm's uh, Unsullied because uh, I don't think they'll be able to take I mean they've been fighting valiantly so far but fighting double the amount of troops by that much is a tall order uh, but but with 16,000 troops and a dragon I think that's a pretty good chance of victory for me so I'm gonna make sure Daenerys gets there to back them up and uh, the enemy NPCs don't really take dragons into account uh, when they arrange uh, you know when they get ready to march off to battle so I don't think they're going to hold back. I think they're going to keep marching and they're not going to be ready for it. Uh, so Grey Worm and the Unsullied are still there and Daenerys is about to land as well. Uh, my maester died. I don't really care, but I'll send for another one because it helps during the war, actually. Um, all right. And then uh, Mace Tyrell wants to ransom the Knight of Flowers. And he's not really a good prisoner because he's not part of the Lannister family or anything. So 75 gold is a fair offer for that. So I'm going to accept that. And uh, so I know I just sold the, my ransom for that and got 75 gold, so I'm swimming in gold. So that part of, of this is going very well for me. I'm not going to deploy my dragon in the siege just because I know it's going to come to combat very soon here. And since my troops are dying of attrition, uh, I'm just going to march them. I'm going to take, the the, take the fight to them right now. So 
So I have Daenerys, Barristan, and Jorah leading my army. So that's pretty solid right there. Uh, so I'm going to march quickly through the Wendwater here. I got my new uh, my new maester, so hopefully he helps helps me out a little bit. And uh, this battle is going on right here now. 22 versus 15. Or, yep, 22 versus 15. So with the dragon, as long as no one fucks him up, I should be good. And nice, Septon Wilbert tried to attack the dragon and was severely burned. That was not smart, especially of a Septon. And uh, Jon oh, it was Jonas Bracken, yep, and he was stupid enough to do the same thing. And he was wounded and now infirm, so he got fucked up, holy crap. Uh, and then, of course, Drogon got wounded during that, so that's not good. Um, but they, the dragon did a lot of damage before he got wounded, so that should still be enough to win the war. And I think when a dragon attacks, who it really lowers the enemy troops' morale as well, it should. And sure enough, I won that battle. So I'm just going to keep on marching to King's Landing now. Damn, Barristan keeps popping out kids. There's another one. Kelsey Selmy. Damn, I started. I didn't realize I'd be able to start this guy a family. That's awesome. Uh, so, way to go, the horny old little bugger. <laughs> Alright, I'm in King's Landing now with Daenerys. Uh, Drogon is still healing up from that big battle, I believe. Uh, no, he just got healed, so I can deploy him uh, against King's Landing. And uh, that one worked. Alright, so let's uh, check out what's going on with my allies right now, because I haven't seen or heard from any of them. It looks like they mostly got fucked up. It looks like Roose Bolton is fighting uh, Targaryen anti-supporters you know, supporters up here still. So, I, I mean, I can dig with that. It looks like Littlefinger lost most of his troops. Uh, and Dorne is... Looks like lost most of their troops as well, so I guess they put <laughs> put their bodies in for the team here. Um, but it's fine because I'm doing fine. All right, so it looks like I took King's Landing. Um, there's several prisoners here who I might as well release. Um, uh, I guess I'll just release the ones I have common cause with, and uh, I now have the Lannister family in my prison now. So I'll make sure the game is paused, and I, that means I'll imprison Marcella, uh, Tommen, Jamie Lannister, Kevin Lannister. Uh, Hector, who I guess is Tommen's son, and uh, this random chick named Celise, who I guess married Tristane Martell. Uh, so I'm going to imprison them all just to be safe, because I can, you know, it that's not necessarily an unjust move. I can always declare them innocent. It doesn't mean I have to execute all of them. And you know what else that means, everybody? Queen Daenerys has just taken the Iron Throne. Uh, so I've just usurped the Iron Throne from uh, Tommen the Pretender. And uh, Barristan is now an official member of my Kingsguard, so I'm lucky that he had some kids before uh, before that happened. Uh, and I believe I can name the rest of my Kingsguard now too, so let's see if we can do that before uh, before these trials begin. All right, so let's take a look at my court here, because my Kingsguard, I've got a lot of cool candidates here. Actually, it keeps most of my regular Kingsguard, but I believe I'll be able to unname them too, so let's wait for that event to come up. Alright, so Jamie Lannister, or this is Lancel, um, I'll leave him be. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave him be since I don't even have him, so that's just a war waiting to happen. Tommen is uh, the Lord of the Stormlands right now. I'm going to judge each of his family separately. I'm going to hold them all on trial. Marin Trant is not fit to be on my Kingsguard. Marin fucking Trant. Loris Tyrell, he fought bravely. He was captured, and uh, he, he was a good prisoner, so I'm going to leave him on the Kingsguard. Uh, so he's fine. Uh, Balon Swan, he's actually a pretty cool character in the show as well. Uh, and in the books, I mean he's not in the show. Um, I'm going to leave him be, but everyone else in the Kingsguard is done. Alan Stackspear, I don't even know who you are. You're not fit to serve on the Kingsguard. Boris Blount, not fit to serve on the Kingsguard. Osmond Kettleback, you got to be shitting me. Uh, the he High Septon, I'll leave him be. Robert, I'll leave him be. He's just a boy. He's just a boy. L ugh, Cersei, that's a tough one. I'm going to leave her be for now. I know nobody's uh, going to be happy with me for that, but it's just a war waiting to happen. I can always choose to get rid of her later. Um... Actually, no bucket. I'm taking it because I want to give the Westerlands to Tyrion. He deserves it for everything he's done for me. <laughs> I changed my mind. I, uh, she will forfeit the Westerlands. She's going to fight me for that, but I just took Westeros. What the fuck she's going to do? All right, so Jamie Lannister. I guess I'm, I, I'm going to be fair to him. I'm going to banish him to the Night's Watch. Wait, I can visit Chambers first? I already fucked Strong Bellwas. Oh, God. Okay, so Daenerys fucked Jamie. Okay, so that is cause. <laughs> Word of that can't get out. You were banished to the Night's Watch, Jamie. <laughs> oh, no. All right, so Jamie might have, and Daenerys might have just had a bastard. We will find out. All right, and Cersei has declared war on me. That's not going to go well for her. Um, as for Hector here, I'm going to take him as a hostage, as a ward, kind of like the Theon Greyjoy kind of thing. Um, Kevin Lannister, I'll throw him in my dungeon for now. Tommen, uh, i got to execute him as he claimed it. 
Uh, and then I'm not gonna let my d dragon devour him because you know whatever. Marcella, throw her in my dungeon for now. Uh, the Westerlands are still declaring war on me. That's nothing new. Uh, as for Marjorie, I'll release her because the Tyrells are kind of on my side right now. They've been fine with me. They didn't fight for me. They didn't really fight against me either. And uh, Loras Tyrells on my King's Guard, so I want to make sure that I keep uh, the Tyrells happy. Uh, so now that uh, the Lannisters are at war with me, I should be able to make quick work of them. Uh, let's just wait and see all my allies who support me. Uh, I mean, I'm already 55% through the war here. Alright, so I'm just going to send uh, these troops right to Casterly Rock and take Cersei right away. Because that is the easy thing to do, is just burn Casterly Rock. Uh, although she's leading troops, but I think she's just leading the defense. So I'll cut back to when uh, we have Cersei ready to go. Alright, so uh, I'm going to try to appoint some members to my Kingsguard now while I still have the chance. Uh, Jorah. Uh, of course it would be the highest honor to be on your Kingsguard. Jorah was always meant to be there. Uh, so the next person I'm going to name to my Kingsguard is uh, Strong Belwas, <laughs> my lover apparently. Uh, let's see if he'll accept that because that would be great. Of course, nice. So he's a really cool person to have on my Kingsguard. Uh, Alright, so I found the Kingsguard member I wanted. Uh, Archibald Wrongwood, the, uh, the big man, is one of the guys who came with Quentin Martell before he got burned by the dragon. Uh, he is a Dornishman of Ro House Ronwood, which is the second biggest Dornish house. Uh, and he's got the strong trait, huge trait, three-star fighter. He's just made for the Kingsguard. So he is excellent. So let's take a look at this Kingsguard I have now because it is pretty formidable. Um, I believe I can get to it by going here to my vassals. Barristan is the Lord Commander of my Kingsguard. Uh, let's see if I can't find them on here. Yep, there they are. And uh, so my Kingsguard consists of Barristan Selmy, uh, Loris Terrell, Balin Swan, Jorah Mormont, Strong Belwas, that's five, so I, I still need two more. So we'll see who I can find as the game goes on, if I can't find two more before the game's over here. Uh-oh. <laughs> so you guys remember when Daenerys slept around with Jaime Lannister? Uh, she is now pregnant, so she's about to have a bastard. But you know what? When you're a dragon queen, you can uh, be afforded these luxuries. So that's something interesting. I'm just going to have the baby. Why not? Um, so we'll have a little Jaime Lannister, Daenerys Targaryen uh, bastard here, which will make Cersei even more happy. <laughs> this might as well just be called the Cersei torture episode, because I have Tyrion Lannister as my hand of the king, and Daenerys fucked her, her brother lover. <laughs> so this is going interestingly uh, for Cersei. Uh, she's about to have an aneurysm, I think. Alright, and uh, it looks like Littlefinger died of a severe maiming, probably during the war. Uh, and his son, he had one son, Gilwood Baelish, uh, he's a young boy, but he is all of four and has declared his troops to help me against Cersei, so that's good news. Alright, and, uh, sorry for the time jump here, um, I actually finished the whole playthrough, and, uh, exited and was ready to save it and upload it for you guys, and, uh, it turns out my <laughs> upload was too long, and had too much memory, and the file was lost. Luckily, it kept what, uh, what was there before the memory ran out, so I actually didn't lose that much, so I'm just gonna replay it here. Uh, and I can uh, briefly go over what was lost uh, just because the save wasn't recent enough. That war I was about to fight with Cersei uh, obviously went my way. Uh, and we can find Cersei here. And I took her land and fed her to my dragon. And I had a, uh, I had a kid with Jamie, that bastard child I was pregnant with. And I named her, him Fuck Cersei posthumously after she died. So uh, you know how in the show, in the book, Cersei had a prophecy that said a younger queen younger more beautiful would come and take everything that she held dear they were not kidding cersei has, has been the real victim of this playthrough daenerys rolled in killed her son took her daughter prisoner made Tyrion hand of the king and lord of the westerlands we'll get to why he's not lord of the westerlands anymore in a minute and then fucked her brother lover had a bastard with him then sent him to the night's watch and, oh my god. And first of all, let's get to this. Daenerys has had a weird choice in men. She fucked Strong Balwas and the man who killed her father. <laughs> before she would do J Jorah, so that's gotta feel good for him. Uh, back to Tyrion, though. Uh, immediately after I gave Tyrion the West, the Westerlin loyalists demanded that he abdicate to his five-year-old daughter. So that's why his five-year-old daughter is in charge now. So Tyrion is a pussy piece of shit. After everything we've gone through, he uh, he didn't get anywhere. So what's happening now is I found out Roose uh, Bolton was being attacked in the north by the fucking White Walkers. And being Daenerys and having dragons, I figure I'm going to go help this motherfucker. Uh, Roose Bolton is incapable. It looks like he uh, might have gotten injured in combat uh, while fighting the White Walkers. So it's basically Ramsay up there doing what he can. 
Um, so we'll cut back to, and I have the full force of, of Westeros in my back now. All these troops are marching north. Um, so I'll cut back uh, once the, uh, oh, apparently they found out that I had a kid with Jamie, and he's the grandson of incest so, <laughs> on both sides, actually, because Daenerys' parents are incest born, too. So that kid is going to be derpy. <laughs> uh, so we'll continue. Uh, once my troops are up here and ready to take it to the White Walkers. Uh, I won the war last time. I'm, I don't have it recorded, so no one will believe me. Uh, so I just have to do it again. No problem. Alright, so I'm back here. My troops are all amassed. I have two big uh, hosts, because uh, I don't want to march them all together. Even marching this many together is kind of dumb. Um, but I have uh, Daenerys and Barristan leading these two armies, and I'm going to have uh, Hero, my pit fighter buddy, with me. Uh, so that's going to be the main host there, and I'm going to have Grey Worm command my second host, uh, mostly of Unsullied and uh, of my other uh, Highborn uh, lords and whatnot, and I'm going to give him the other best commanders that I have, and uh, we're going to march north together. And uh, the White Walkers have about 20,000 troops up here, actually close to 30,000. Uh, I'm going to take out this group first. Uh, the White Walkers are special event troops, kinda, so they're, even though I have a lot more troops than them, this war isn't necessarily in the bag. I mean, the dragon kinda makes it so I have the advantage, uh, big advantage. Um, and Jamie wants to free his daughter from my prison, sure. Only because we are lovers. And, uh, man, my cat is going apeshit. Pants, quit playing with the rubber band over there. I'm trying to win a war. I'm trying to win a war, dude. You know how hard this is? Um, anyway, sorry, my cat's fucking about. Uh, so I'm going to try to take the uh, the White Walkers by storm up here. Grey Worm's going to move in first. He's probably going to get owned, but once Daenerys and the dragon gets in there, uh, it's going to be uh, quick sausage for the, the White Walkers up here. And uh, we'll see if Daenerys can't save the world here. And uh, before I get potentially killed, I'm going to see if I can't find a, uh, a marriage here. Uh, who can be the new king of Westeros? Oh, man, there's nobody good. Uh... Fuck it, things are already fucked up enough in this playthrough. I'm gonna marry my own son. <laughs> my own zero-year-old son named Fuck Cersei. Just to further piss her off even more. <laughs> Posthumously. <laughs> oh, I mean... Adult life in Westeros is already so goddamn weird. It can't get any weirder. Alright, so all my troops are here. I'm gonna move in on the fuck of the, uh, the White Walkers over here. See if I can't catch up to them and get this battle going. I'll cut back to when uh, we actually catch up to them, though, because I don't know how far they're going to run away. Alright, so we're here. Uh, I caught the main bulk of the White Walkers' troops. I have a lot less troops, because they kept marching around this lake, like, in fucking circles. And in the winter, you lose troops like crazy. So I'm not sure. I don't think they did that on purpose. I think they were just running away from me. But I caught them. And I still have dragons. So I'm going to deploy Drogon against the White Walkers here. And uh, I'm going to give my husband, uh, my husband's son, uh, a dragon, too, and see if he can't tame that. Uh, so we'll see what happens here with this first battle of the of the White Walkers here against Daenerys and the Dragons. Barristan the Bold is still alive, folks. 72 years old and fighting White Walkers with me still. Damn, that dude is a fucking trooper. Alright, so I won my first battle against the White Walkers. So they're moving here to the new gift. So I'm going to chase them down. I'm not letting them get away. Because uh, i got to chase the rest of their troops up there too. Uh, they really retreated really far north because I think they're running from the Dragons. Uh, so we'll cut to the next battle. Uh, so Daenerys just had another kid, and this time I don't know who it's with. There's no way it's with her husband, because he's one years old. <laughs> so, it's not Jamie because he's in the Night's Watch, so we'll find out who this kid is, because Cersei... I mean, sorry, wow. Uh, Daenerys is, uh, really an interesting character in this playthrough, through, so we'll find out who it is. So, wow, I've already... I'm, I'm down to 13,000 troops from attrition now, so I really have to count on my dragon to win this next battle for me. Because I've lost close to 35,000 just to winter. I've lost more troops just to cold conditions than to the actual ice demons themselves. So the White Walkers tried to kill my dragons and got burned to life for it. That was not smart, White Walkers. And it allowed me to win this battle as well. And so the White Walkers are defeated there and I'm 72% of the way through the war. This next battle should probably win it for me in general, so we'll see. And we're here fighting the White Walkers again. And I'm gonna make sure I use uh, Drogon right away because the White Walkers have less troops than me at this point But like I said, they get special events where they start kicking ass because you know, they're White Walkers. They're not normal troops uh, So I'm just gonna make sure I use that to make sure I get ahead of the game And I'm gonna keep chasing down their troops until this war is over and then we can call Daenerys as the true victor of this playthrough 
She never, she never let uh, people's thoughts get in the way of what she wanted to do, that's for sure. She fucked a eunuch, she fucked the man who killed her father, she married her own son by that man. <laughs> Burned Cersei alive and fed her to her, uh, her uh, Drogon, I should say. And, uh, wow. Yeah, this is quite the queen we have here. Alright, so more White Walkers tried to kill Drogon and were unsuccessful. So that only helps my war score here as soon as this battle's over. And, uh... Okay, apparently Daenerys got the Craven trait, but I don't know how that happens, because she's clearly not afraid of anybody or anything or any tactic. Uh, so I'm going to take this castle next to just get this war score up, because I'm pretty sure I already won this war, so we'll cut back. Oh, okay, so I figured out who Daenerys had that other kid with. It was uh, Dario Naharis, of course. I don't know how I didn't see that one coming. So this one's just going to be named Normal Kid, because <laughs> this one is uh, one of the least eventful ones. So Cersei now has two childs, uh, two childs, two children. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to acknowledge that one is mine. So now I, I now have Normal Kid Snow and Fuck Cersei Hill. <laughs> so that's quite the family I'm building here. All right, so uh, I gave my two-year-old son uh, a dragon, and surprise, surprise, he was not able to tame it, and now it's loose in King's Landing, burning shit alive. So that's one thing to know. And uh, people are not happy about that kid I had with Dario. And remember when I marched up north with 40, about 50,000 troops? I'm down to 1,000. That's how much the winter has just been tolling my armies. Especially when the White Walkers control it, I think that makes it even worse. And now I have 700. So, wow, this is going poorly, kinda. I mean, I'm still probably gonna win. But I just need to win in a hurry before all my troops are dead. So I'm going to use my dragon in this siege. And uh, hopefully that'll speed things along here. So I'm down to 135 troops. But I st I'm only 2% away from winning this war, so I still like my chances. If I can attack these 15 White Walkers here, that might be enough to win the war. And hey, look at that. Daenerys is getting a, to be a better fighter. I don't know why, but that is what's happening. So if I can win this battle... Oh, the Night's Watch is taking my glory. That, that's not good, actually. Because if they win the battle, it doesn't help my war score. Oh, I just gotta... Okay, I gotta chase them down. Actually, I, I can, ooh, even with 150 troops, I can still use my dragon in the siege. So I, should, I might be able to still take this castle. So let's try that first. All I need to do is win, like, one battle. Ooh, this is going well. Uh, so I actually have enough... Okay, I don't care about that Lannister girl. That's not what I'm concerned about right now. All I gotta do is take this castle, and it's over. And I'm the savior of Westeros. Okay, well, I guess I am a poor fighter. That's fine. All right, Daenerys' army of 50,000 is now down to literally 58. 58 troops, and I'm still probably gonna win this, I think, I hope. I'm only 2% away. All I have to do is take this little shack, and the war is over. Daenerys literally leads three troops. So it's Daenerys, Barristan, and Grey Worm, and like a few other people left here. 58 troops. I've never had an army so... I literally lost 50,000 troops in this war. This is absolutely insane. This playthrough has just been wild. Oh my god. Not to turn into Carson. <laughs> And, and it ends inconclusively. Oh, because winter's come to an end. So I guess I defeated the... Let's call that a victory. Come on, guys. I got to 98%. Give me this one. Just because the war lasted until winter. <laughs> or until winter was over. So I guess the White Walkers are gone. Uh, Daenerys is uh, the, the Queen of Westeros. I mean, who can argue? Uh, she's sitting here. She's married to her son. <laughs> she has two children. One by Dario and one by Jaime Lannister. And... Uh, you know, things went pretty well that time. That was a fun playthrough. I've never had it go quite so insane as that. Especially the war with the White Walkers, where I lost 50,000 fucking troops. I can tell, when I reloaded my save, I won pretty handedly. I'd lost nowhere near that many troops. It went a lot worse this time. Uh, but I guess I waited out the White Walkers, and winter ended, and uh, the war was inconclusive. I didn't even know that that could happen. Um, but that's the end of my playthrough, guys. Uh, thanks for watching the whole thing. Uh, this was a longer video, but I had to let it play out for Daenerys. Uh, I'm sure you guys enjoyed it as much as I did, or I hope you did. <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks for watching. This was the final episode of my Crusader Kings 2 playthrough. Uh, it was just a mini-series. Um, I might play this game again at some point, you know, uh, maybe next season when uh, Game of Thrones comes back on, or if Wins a Winner ever comes back. Uh, but don't count on that one, because <laughs> that might be when I'm 60. Uh... But yeah, uh, it was fun to play this. Uh, it was fun, uh, you know, interacting with you guys, playing the games that you guys wanted me to play. A lot of these ones that I did were personal requests uh, that, that people requested uh, for me to play. Uh, the next Paul's Place episode, I don't know when it's coming out, but I got a couple ideas in the works, so uh, keep your eye out. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, enjoy Game of Thrones tonight. You know I'll be watching it. And uh, au revoir, motherfuckers.